Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and to a styling tips video. This is my first styling tips video of the year and I'm really, really excited about bringing you more styling videos this year. It really is a goal of mine. I basically want to almost like transform my YouTube into a place where you can come if you have a styling query, if you've just bought this new item and you're not sure how to style it or if you've got something in your wardrobe that you love but you just don't wear too often or you're looking for more styling ideas then I hope that you can come to my channel and to my little styling hub so my styling my how to style playlist and basically browse through and answer all your styling questions so i really hope to just expand this this year i really hope you're looking forward to it if you enjoy that kind of thing as well then make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed there is so much coming your way this year and i would absolutely love to have you here on my channel for this styling tips video we are focusing on outerwear and in particular white coats I love a white coat in the winter, honestly, like winter whites, that kind of vibe, it's so me. And as much as I love wearing and sharing my white coats in outfits that I share over on Instagram, for example, and even in outfits here on my YouTube channel, I really just wanted to put together a dedicated video because I do feel like white coats can be a little bit scary. So hopefully in today's video, I will help you out on that front, help you out with some styling tips for white coats. As usual with my styling tips videos, I have pre-prepared and here we have an example of my PowerPoint up and ready. I feel like I'm back in school when I do these styling tips videos because I always have a presentation in front of me and it's like I'm pitching to you from my presentation. But this is a good way for me personally to like organize myself in these videos and I hope that you appreciate it and that you also find these videos useful. Without further ado, let's get started with styling tip number one. Styling tip number one is to style with high neck slash roll neck tops. I am a big fan of wearing high neck jumpers and roll neck tops I mean as you can tell I feel like I only just realized that now so I was really excited but I really love roll necks I really love high necks they are definitely my favorite kind of tops I am typically someone who gets quite cold and I often feel the cold quite quickly so I really like something like a high neck or a roll neck for just some added warmth I love the look of a roll neck or just the high neck sort of peeking out on top of the coat and that's exactly what I wanted to show you with this tip so for outfit number one I have have a white teddy coat so it's a slightly more cropped version maybe like to my knees but still a very good length very good for the winter and obviously it's that teddy material so it's really nice and cozy and also keeps you nice and warm I've styled it with a classic roll neck top this one is white I really love winter whites in general I love pairing a white coat with white tops and white clothing underneath as well because I think it looks so chic so I've simply paired it with a white roll neck top I've gone for a pair of blue denim jeans as well which is such an easy pick I think a lot of us do gravitate towards jeans and jumpers this time of year and I think that adding something like a white coat can actually make your outfit a little more interested and also look a little more elevated as well when it comes to the accessories for this outfit I went for a pair of brown ankle boots and a matching brown crossbody bag again these are all colors that kind of complement each other blue jeans are a staple in anyone's wardrobe and I just thought that the colors worked so nicely together along with my white coat. My second outfit is a very similar combo. Once again, the white teddy coat and this time with a white high neck jumper. You may be looking at both outfits and thinking, what's the difference between those two? But trust me, there is a difference between a roll neck, which is typically a more fitted top like the one I'm wearing today, and a high neck jumper, which is more of a loose fitting knit. But I love how both of these look. I think the first outfit is a little more chicer. The roll neck top is a little more elevated and a little more elegant, whereas as the knitwear is slightly more casual I'd say however I still think that this outfit is a really smart and chic smart casual outfit if you ask me so I've paired the white pieces with a black slip style mini skirt love this skirt so much it's so beautiful along with a pair of tights and then knee-high boots as well along with my black bag this is more of a black and white look which we will be coming to later on in the video but I really like how this looks it looks great with a skirt it looks great with jeans and the roll neck just works really well with the coat and the final outfit I wanted to share with you is finally a little bit of color although can you call this a bit of color I'm not too 
sure. I've gone for a cream high neck jumper this time. Obviously this is going to be very dependent on your personal style. If you are someone who absolutely loves wearing colours, then just apply this tip to the colours within your wardrobe. I don't know, say you've got like a red high neck jumper or something, obviously it's going to look great as well with the white coat over the top. These are like just ballpark ideas and for me personally I'm a big fan of the whites, the neutrals, the creams, those kind of colours. So they are naturally the colours that you are going to be seeing the most here in my video and in my outfits but don't be afraid to change up the colours and change up the pieces with whatever you already have in your wardrobe. So as I was saying this outfit once again I've got a white coat on and then underneath I have a beige high neck jumper and you can really see just that little bit of contrast between the two colours looks so nice. Once again I've just got a pair of blue jeans on here. I think with this I was either wearing like trainers or maybe boots depending. Really easy to throw on with whatever outfit. It could be smart but it can also be casual. Styling tip number two is to style with skirts and bare legs. I don't know about you but I think in the winter it can sometimes be more of a challenge to incorporate skirts and dresses basically shorter lengths with your outfits with coats for example. Sometimes it's about the difference in lengths that you're not quite sure about and so on but I think that a white coat is perfect to be paired with skirts. I really love how it looks. Here I have two mini skirt outfits to share with you. So starting off with outfit number one, I've once again got that white teddy coat. You will be seeing a lot of these coats repeatedly but it really just goes to show the versatility within the coats and these outfits. So my teddy coat paired with a brown knitted jumper, a gorgeous check mini skirt and then some brown knee high boots. I love this. I love this look. I think it looks great. It's broken up a little bit because of course you have a little bit of leg on show where this is a bare legs outfit. With this look the coat cuts off when the boots start so there really isn't that much leg on show and I think that that makes it a super chic look for the winter. And for my second outfit here I've got my longer white coat on so this is more of a classic long length white coat. I've got on a white roll neck top. Once again another check mini skirt but this time in light pastel colours. This is obviously quite a pretty look as we transition from winter into springtime if you want to start getting out your spring picks sooner but it's still a little bit chilly outside throwing on a light coloured coat is perfection with that. In contrast to the previous outfit, for this look I've actually got on a pair of ankle boots. These are also white ankle boots which I really like. As you can see, winter white, I told you, I really do enjoy wearing them. But here I have on a pair of white ankle boots and then the longer length coat. Once again, there's only a little bit of bare leg on show once your coat is done up. It's not cutting you off at awkward places. That's definitely something I would bear in mind. If you have a longer line coat, and you want to do bare legs, perhaps choose ankle boots. But if you have a shorter length coat, then go for something like knee high boots or over the knee boots instead because it just helps to balance out the look a little bit more and it means that your outfits or your coats or your boots or whatever you're wearing don't cut you off at awkward places. Naturally, following on from that tip, styling tip number three is to style with skirts and tights. So I've shared some tips on styling mini skirts and bare legs. So next up of course had to be mini skirts and tights. The reason I wanted to separate these into two different styling tips was because I think that sometimes you don't actually think, oh yeah, I can wear tights with my coats. Like especially with a white coat, I think sometimes the contrast between a white coat and dark or sheer tights can be a little bit harsher. And with that in mind, I just wanted to show you that actually it still looks looks really chic. So first up I have quite a neutral outfit, my white teddy coat paired with a high neck jumper, a pair of faux leather cream slash off-white shorts. I've got tights on here, spotted tights. I do love my polka dot tights this time of year. So I have paired them here with this outfit and then a pair of knee high boots. Once again sticking to that tip of the style of boots that you wear with a particular coat length. And despite being quite a light and neutral outfit, the dark coloured tights still look great here. I really don't think they take away from this outfit. I actually think they add a little more interest to the look. Obviously it's quite a neutral white balanced out look. It's really nice to be adding something like polka dots, like a sheer layer to your look and it just makes it look a little more different and a little more interesting. I would definitely say that this look is quite a smart casual one which I love. And outfit number two I have my longer length white coat on, a white jumper here once again, my black mini skirt with the side 
wide slit, polka dot tights and biker boots. So this is definitely more of a casual dressed down look, which I really love. I love pairing the elegance of a white coat with more like chunky lace up biker boots. The two of them are so different. They're practically complete opposites, but they work so well together, particularly with an outfit like this where we are sort of focused on the black and white layers. I think here, if you were wearing bare legs, the contrast would be a bit too a bit too obvious and a bit too much of like a stark contrast between the lighter colour palette and the darker one. So in my opinion, the addition of the sheer tights really helps this look just run a little more smoothly. Styling tip number four is to style with blue jeans. I love my blue jeans. I think in the winter time, a lot of us do typically gravitate towards knitwear and jeans. It's basically a fail safe combo. It's definitely something that I always gravitate towards. It's just an easy go to throw on look if you ask me. So here's how I style my blue jeans with my white coat. Starting off with a new coat actually. Here we have a white faux fur coat and what I've done here is I've paired it with a roll neck top, a pair of light wash blue jeans and then brown accessories with my crossbody bag and my ankle boots. I really like the styling with blue jeans jeans because I feel like it adds a pop of colour. I've already explained in this video that I love my neutrals, I love wearing whites with whites, I love wearing whites with creams, whites with blacks and that sort of thing. So I actually really like how it looks with blue jeans because it is just an additional colour, albeit just a pair of jeans, which I don't think is the most groundbreaking way to add colour to an outfit. But it's an easy way, it's a fail safe and it works. For outfit number two, I've got my long line white coat, a cream coloured knit, high-waisted jeans. I would always go for high-waisted, but that's definitely just a personal preference. Go for whatever you fancy. And then a pair of ankle boots here and crossbody bag as well. And actually, the final outfit here is really quite similar to this one. It's once again my long white coat, this time more of a like rust-coloured roll neck top, I would say. A more statement-coloured bag. It's definitely like a burnt orange. My blue jeans, of course, and some animal print boots. And I really like it. I think these are my types of go-to outfits. It's just my kind of outfit and I think that styling it with blue jeans is such an easy thing to do. From one favourite to another favourite, styling tip number five is to go neutral. I feel like I have said this throughout the video that I love my neutral tones so this style tip will come as no surprise but I really think that it just looks so good. It's so elegant. It's such a nice way to wear white in the winter. So for outfit number one I've got all of the layers with this look. I have my long line white coat. I've got a two-in-one shirt and jumper combo. You can't tell too well from this photo, but basically it's a white shirt, like a longer length white shirt with a jumper over the top. I have some cream faux leather leggings as well with this outfit and then cream biker boots. It's such a perfect winter look. Winter whites can do no wrong if you ask me. And I just think that this outfit looks really beautiful. It's the neutrals, the neutrals just get me. And this I would say is quite a casual outfit to be honest. Like all of the pieces are really casual items. But when worn together with the winter whites, it just looks so elevated. It looks way more like classic than it actually is. For outfit number two, I've gone for the teddy coat this time paired with a white jumper, just a classic round neck or crew neck jumper. My cream faux leather leggings, once again, I do love these, what can I say? And this time with a pair of chunky trainers. So yet again, this is the kind of thing I could easily throw on to run some errands, but how chic does it look? I genuinely think that if you wear a full white winter outfit, you basically just look like you have your life put together. For the final outfit, I've got a few more neutral tones to add to this look. So we've got my teddy coat. You can't really tell, but I'm wearing a white high neck style jumper here. I've got faux leather leggings on, but these are more of like a camel color, which I think is so beautiful and a really great neutral to have in your wardrobe and then for footwear I've gone for brown animal print like a snake print ankle boots which I just think look great it's a different take on the neutrals it's adding a few more colors in there so it's not 
essentially like stark white like the other two outfits have been definitely more of a winter white kind of look even though they do have some cream tones in them they definitely give the impression of an all white look whereas here you can definitely see it's broken down a little bit and I actually just realized that I called this tip go neutral but it could well have easily been style with faux leather leggings because all of these outfits I wore some sort of leather look leggings so clearly I'm a fan. Styling tip number six is to go black and white. I do love the monochromatic look of black and white paired together. I think it's another fail safe. It's something that if you style black and white together, you've done no wrong. You look chic. Your outfit will look great. So for outfit number one, I have my long line white coat, a white high neck jumper, a pair of check print shorts. So that's the element of the monochrome, like adding black and white with the help of a print, I think is a really fun way to do so. Paired with my black knee high boots and then a black bag as well. So obviously these pieces are black and white as this category would suggest but I think it looks really cool and I love the addition of the print there. Prints can sometimes be a little bit trickier to style and incorporate into your daily outfit so going for something like a check print for a black and white outfit is such an easy way to do so. For outfit number two I have my teddy coat on, a white cozy jumper, my black faux leather leggings and then a pair of black biker boots this time. So this look is more of a casual one. It's actually a really lovely look for a weekend I think. This is sort of like a go-to formula for me for weekend outfits. It's a good cozy jumper. If it's super cold, I love my leather look leggings because they just keep me nice and warm. And then some biker boots. I just think it's such a good outfit combo. And here it is in black and white and it works really well. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And for my third outfit in this category, I've got my long white coat on. This time I have a print with my jumper. So it's actually got a zigzag I'm sure there is a much better term than a zigzag but I just can't think of it off the top of my head for now so we're gonna go with zigzag please excuse my less than favorable fashion terms I've paired this with a black mini skirt some tights and ankle boots so actually the majority of this outfit is quite dark and there's more black in this look than there is white and it still looks great black and white is essentially the biggest contrast you could do I mean white being the lightest and black being the darkest but it just goes to show that the two of them actually work really well together and they complement each other really beautifully when styled. On to my final styling tip. A styling tip a number seven is to belt it. I don't know about you but in previous years I would very very rarely belt any of my coats and I just can't believe this and I don't know why but I feel like two or so years ago it just wasn't cool to belt your coat. Essentially a coat was just a layering piece it was just an extra layer to keep you warm but the outfit you still wanted it to be out you still wanted it to be on show I can't tell you how much this has completely flipped for me. For me now, on some occasions, my coat is my favourite part. It's essentially the whole outfit. The whole outfit becomes the coat. And these days, I definitely favour a coat that I can belt. My long white coat does exactly that. So, two outfits to share with you. I mean, this is a pretty self-explanatory tip, I can't lie. But I do have two looks to share with you anyway. The first being another take on a monochrome outfit. So, I have an all black look here. I've got a black jumper on, black leather look leggings, black boots and then I have the white coat over the top and actually in this look you can see what I mean about the coat being the main focal piece of the outfit. Once it's belted it really does just become a part of the outfit so the black is almost only peeking through and the main piece for this look is the coat. Where it's belted along the front it gives you a bit of a bow detail as well which I think is quite nice and I just really like how it looks. It's not such a stark contrast as if you had a open coat with this look for example. Not to say that I would never undo my coat here but I'm just showing you how different it looks once belted compared to if it were open. And the final look to end this outfit of course had to be a head to toe winter whites look because I've told you how much I love that so of course I had to end on a high. Here I have an outfit that I have already shared so you've actually seen this outfit with the coat open and also with the coat belted and you can see the difference between the two looks but here it is belted for you neutral outfit underneath cream leather look leggings cream slash white jumper
jumper and then cream boots here and it just looks so chic if you ask me. I think that's another little tip actually. If you want your coat to look even more chic, definitely belt it. And there you have it. Those were my styling tips for white coats. I really hope that you found this video helpful and I hope you enjoyed all the outfits and the styling tips as well. I hope they do come in handy. I honestly love my white coats. I wear them all throughout winter. Definitely a personal favourite of mine so I had to share a video all about these and I hope it was helpful. A very big thank you for watching today's video. If you're not already subscribed please do subscribe for more styling tips and fashion videos here on my channel. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions or if there's anything you would like to see leave me a comment down below and I will see you all very soon with a brand new video. Bye!